Hi, my name is Deborah Levinsky, owner of Bella Body Pilates and certified Pilates teacher through the Pilates Method Alliance. Today I'd like to share a couple of weight-bearing exercises you can do to help increase your bone density and also to help improve your balance. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to get some light hand weights. Today I'm using three pound weights. If you have any kind of shoulder or joint issues, definitely want to go lighter. If you've been working out with weights, you can definitely go higher. Okay, so first off, what we're going to do is we want to get into a good alignment, which is standing. We want to have our feet hip distance apart with the toes pointing forward. Feel as if those toes are under your knees, under your hips. So we're not doing a really wide stance and we're not standing with our feet together. So hip distance apart. And to begin, we're going to do just a simple bicep curl. So we're going to bring our elbows in at our waist. The weights are held at waist height and just bring the weights up towards your shoulder and then lower back down to the start position. We want to feel as if we have our shoulder blades melting down our backs like delicious chocolate. And as you bring the weight up, you want to feel a little bit of squeeze on your bicep, making sure to exhale as you bring the weight up, inhale lower. We want to think about keeping our abdominals contracted and engaged throughout all of these exercises. And last one. If you'd like to add a little bit more balance challenge, you'll just rise up slightly onto your toes. So as if you're wearing kitten heels, all of a sudden now your weight is slightly forward and then try to do the same exercise. If you'd like to add more difficulty, bring your arms out away from you and then lift up the arms and lower down. Still maintaining the slight lift off of the floor with your heels. You will really feel your abdominals contracting on these. And then lower back down. Next, we will work on the deltoids. The deltoids are what I always call the pretty muscle. It looks like a, a little V on your shoulder. Standing with your hands down at your waist. And you want to relax those shoulders. You don't want to lift from up in the neck. You want to always lift using the correct muscles. Keeping your abdominals engaged. We're going to lift up the weights, shoulder height, and then lower down. So it's a lift, and when you lower, feel as if you're pressing your armpits together. A little tiny squeeze, and we'll work some muscles in your back when you do that. Experiment around with the grip on the weights. If you hold on tightly with your index and thumb, you'll feel more of the front part of your arm if you lift and lower and focus holding on more tightly with your ring finger and pinky finger, you're going to feel more the outside of your arm. Next up, we'll do some chest presses, bringing the weights up shoulder distance apart and shoulder height. We're going to lift up your right arm and then lower down and your left. I'm focusing on keeping my arms close to my body and lifting straight up and lowering down with control. I'm trying not to arch my back as soon as I bring the weights up overhead. A lot of times you want to go, whoa. So we want to maintain that nice, tall alignment. And as we lift and lower, we want to stay out of the shoulders. So we don't want to lift like this, all scrunched up in the shoulders, but you want to bring those shoulders down. As you lift your arm up, you want to feel as if those shoulder blades are sliding down into the back pockets of your pants. Another variation would be to bring the elbows up so that they are armpit height and then open out and bring them back in. I don't bring the weights together. That's another variation you could do. I like having the control of having distance between the weights. And then last one, lower back down. Now we can move into a tricep kickback. This one, you'll bend your knees slightly and hinge from the waist, so where your hip creases are. Elbows in close to your body and pressing back with your arms and pulling forward. So as you press back, you definitely wanna feel the back of your arms, that's where your tricep is. And then 
And then as you extend the arm back, you give the back of that arm a tiny little squeeze. So little squeeze. Keeping the arms extended back and the arms are straight, we lift up an inch and down an inch. You can do a set of pulses, still keeping the elbow straight. And now think about lengthening your neck out of your shoulders. Your abs are contracted, even though you're slightly tilted towards the ground. You want to keep your core engaged. Now you can turn so your palms are facing towards the ceiling and continue pressing. And it's up to you. You can do anywhere from your ability five to 20. Just tiny little movements. You can also hold your arms back and circle. And then reverse directions. And then you can bring your arms back in. Another great exercise is a curtsy. So you can start off with your arms down at your side and you're shifting your weight from side to side. So you're going to take that right foot, bring it behind your left foot, and then you dip your knees down and you rise up. You step back to your start position. You take your left foot, bring it behind the right, bend your knees, and then come up and return to your start position. You can add an uppercut when you do this exercise. So if you bring the right leg back, you bring the right arm forward, and then you return to your start position. You take your left arm, forward and your left leg back and step. So it's a step and a dip and up, step and a dip and up, step and a dip, up, step and a dip and up. I'm going to put the weights down and show you a couple of low impact exercises that you can do that are also terrific for bone health. First one is very simple. You stand again with our nice alignment, feet are hip distance apart. You come up into releve, up on your toes, drop the heels down. Up on the toes, drop the heels. It's gonna help with balance. I have my arms down at my side. If you want, you can have your hands on your hips. You can bring them out in front. Genie arms, bring them out to a T, whatever makes you happy. You're gonna really feel this in your calf muscles. And so as you drop the heels down, you're transmitting some impact up to the top of your thigh bone, your femur, into the hip. Frequent place of fractures. And last one. Another exercise that we do in buff bones is called grape stomping. And here we just take your foot and gently press the heel into the ground as if you're stomping grapes. I'm changing the direction. I'm internally and externally rotating my leg, going in different directions just to surprise the bone. And then we would change, and of course do on the opposite side as well. And this is another one where you get a little bit of cardio from this exercise. You can definitely feel a little bit of work here. And then stop. You can do it anywhere from five seconds, work yourself up to 30 seconds per side. It's a really fun little exercise. Okay, and the last little weight-bearing exercise that we could do um, for this next little set is hmm, huddle. So as a football huddle, you have your arms up and you're just gonna press your heels and move side to side, move in a circle. little bit of aerobic as well and then you'll be finished. So that's a quick little set of exercises. After doing some of this work your calves might feel tight. You can take a little stretch back, bringing your hips back, flexing your foot and then change with your legs and then come in. So here's a little set of exercises to try to help improve your bone density, your balance, your strength, and to send you on your way feeling a little energized. I'm Deborah Levinsky, fellow Body Pilates. Thank you for watching.